We're now going to take a look at a decision table for accessing a secured network. So firstly, we need to plan the structure of the table. We need to understand decision tables contain two main sections. The first part is the conditions, and these are all the possible conditions that can occur within the information system. The second section of the table of the decision table is the actions. So based on the combination of conditions occurring, what actions are going to take place? So we're talking about accessing a secured network here. So our conditions are their login is going to be either correct or incorrect, or their password is going to be correct or incorrect. So the combinations of these conditions are going to give us one of two different actions. They're either going to be granted access to this secured network or they're going to be denied access to the secure network. So let's move column by column and see what combination of conditions give us different actions. So the first column, we're going to say that their login is correct and their password is correct. And based on these conditions being true, the action of access granted is taken place. So can you see how it all lines up in columns? The conditions column, okay, with certain factors being true, leads to a specific action being true. Now, in this scenario, this is the only scenario that will grant access to a user getting into a secured network. All other combinations of actions do not either have the login incorrect or the password incorrect and lead to the access being denied. So when the login was incorrect and the password incorrect straight, there was no um, access. If the login was correct, but the password is still incorrect, there's still access denied. And if the actual login is incorrect, but the password is correct, okay, the access is denied once again. So in order to get access, both login and password need to be correct, which is obvious. But we're just trying to visually show that using a decision table. So I hope this helps you understand the advantages of using a decision table for planning out how different conditions give different actions, okay, based on them being true or false. It works on looking at columns and seeing what ticks in a column okay, occur, and then looking down the bottom of the action to see where the action takes place based on those conditions being true.